Sure. Sir, so may I start? Yeah. 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 All the best. Significant of date management. Yes. Yes. No, it's a case study. So, uh, good afternoon, everyone, and thank you for having me here. My topic of research is the significance of weight management post liver transplantation and its impact on NODAT. So, this will be the flow. Uh, I would like to discuss what is MAFLD, why we should present, uh, prevent weight regain post transplantation. Uh, I'll present the case to you and some take home messages. As we know that obesity and diabetes is the main driver of fatty liver disease. Yes, and uh, just one line that post liver transplantation, excessive weight regain, ma'am, would uh, lead to more complications which we also refer to as the new term that is NODAT. A lot of factors prevail, uh, risk factors prevail, including because a lot of immunosuppressants have to be given to a liver transplant case, which would lead to insulin resistance. So the predictors of NODAT are age, high BMI, impaired fasting glucose, as well as ethnicity, which was also presented in our case. The patient uh, our patient was a 30-year-old male with a BMI of 42.6, high waist circumference, and he was referred to us for weight loss post-transplant. He, The main reason for his transplant was because he was diagnosed with uh, NASH for chronic liver disease in 2018, where he was presented with large high-risk vari high varices, portal hypertension, as well as cirrhotic nodular liver. He underwent a disease donor liver transplant surgery. When he was referred to us, he presented with these chief complaints with high acanthosis as we can see, pre-diabetes, high liver enzyme levels as well as abdominal obesity. These were the medications he was on and he was referred to us after a year. So he was not on any sort of steroids uh, while he came to us, he was referred to us. From his dietary recall, we can see that he was on a very low protein diet, though he was trying to eat right, uh, as recommended by the dietitians and the hepatologist. But we tried to focus on his protein and fiber intake. So we tried to intervene that and increase his protein intake, include high protein snacks in his diet, change the macronutrient approach for the patient, which helped in the weight loss. As we can see, he lost about 23 kgs in eight months. The patient was so motivated. We encouraged exercise and he was doing almost 10 to 15,000 steps in a day. So from 112, he lost to 89 kgs gradually, but that's a good change that we saw. With the weight loss, he. Uh, his blood parameters improved as we see the fasting levels drop, the HbA1c improved and the liver enzymes also improved. The GGT level, levels saw a drop from 207 to 84. The good part is that his muscle strength also increased. So we do body composition in all our patients. So as we see that with the weight loss, he did not lose any muscle but dropped his fat and the muscle gained. And that's where we see the magic happening in eight months from, we also see the acanthosis going down drastically. So weight loss is the need of the hour and preventing that weight regain post liver transplant is very important. The patient was very, to highlight the main highlights of the case was he was a very young child and we see the prevalence of obesity now very, it's very, very common. So management of weight loss uh, post liver transplant is very important so that the disease does not reoccur as we see due to weight excessive weight gain we see that it can lead to graft failures it increases the risk of mortality and the same liver disease can occur if we don't manage the patient well so weight loss post liver transplant would also prevent the complications for nodad that is new onset of diabetes and weight loss help to prevent his pre-diabetic, reverse his pre-diabetic conditions, education and giving behavioral support, which we do in all our patients is the most important. And that's where I would keep it brief and short, sir. Sure.